Okay, I called dibs talking to Damien, guys. No way, really? I <laughs> I would have never guessed. <laughs> Please, I beg. I just want to talk to Damien. <laughs> In the haunted manor, a voice whispers from the walls and a frightening voice. You. You can't escape your fate. You'll soon gain boldness. But after that, something weird will happen to you. It could be great. Or terrible. You don't know. Uh, you don't want something potentially terrible happening to you. You stay put to be sure you don't get extra boldness per the voice's predictions. Look at you, trying to defy destiny itself. That takes some bravery. Here, have two boldness. Okay, be right back. I'm gonna grab some water. And she was never seen again. Ow. Later, you find Dahlia punching a rock. This would normally be pretty standard, but you realize her expression has a shade of sadness. You go ask if she's okay. She's not. The game's really trying to push for her, isn't isn't it? I think it's because we all picked her. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, Yue. You must be wondering why I, Dahlia Aquino, am not in my usual cheerful disposition. I know you all expect me to keep morale high, as I am the unquestionable leader of this camp army of ours. You have literally never seen her as that, but you're not about to interrupt her. You see, I've been lately enjoying the many pleasures of summer as I get closer to my goal of having the best summer ever. But might all these pleasures be making me weak in the process? I've been so focused on summer when before, my only season used to be conquest season. I think we all know what the problem is. It's Damien. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah. My whole thing used to be being Damien's rival. Conquering the 8th circle of hell and all that. But Summer Camp has opened my eyes. Damien is, like, super lame. Me and Dahlia are about to score up. <laughs> <laughs> that idiot has zero survival skills. I saw him checking on a tree's bark to find the nearest McDonald's. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He's the silverest of the silver spoons. It's disheartening. I cannot see that wimp as a rival anymore. But healthy rivalry is a central part of a warlord's structure to remain strong. I know this because I watch all kinds of informational documentaries on being strong, such as Dragon Ball or the Naruto. <laughs> I think one of those was even filmed by Michael Moore. So I got worried that because I would be... So I got worried that I would become weak by having no rival. I started punching this rock in hopes that would become sworn enemies, but it's not working. You tell Dahlia you'll become a rival. A what rivalry to remember. Nah. You're just saying that so we can build some sort of sexual tension. I don't blame you. Anyone would leap to leap at the chance if it meant they would get a spoonful of this buff, beautiful blue bod. But enemies to lovers sounds like more of an Aravi or Joy thing. Not my jam though. Sorry. That sucks. If Dahlia's not into sexual tension with rivals, maybe she's into intimacy, trust, and eventually sexual tension with good friends who would help her in an hour of need. Ooh, okay. Don't overthink mm -hmm. it. It just... It, wait, don't overthink it. Jump head first into it. Punch the first person who crosses your path and let rivalry brawl. You, you have suppressed Damien's level by far, but if you had a rival that was a horrible creature made out of 14 Damien's, that may be 
playing field. Interesting. All right. Woohoo! Nice. Second stat. Cool. Dahlia takes your word for it. When she hears some footsteps at her back, she punches before even looking. But the punch is stopped by a very anime way. <laughs> God. It's, it's a very athletic water nymph. Their eyes locked. Hey, you. You have no right to punch that rock. That rock was my rival. Dahlia was smitten, but not romantically. Somehow, you can tell that she's smitten in a platonic rival way. They have a hella anime fight. Punches are thrown, techniques were used, they even shout the names of their attacks out loud. What? Kick of the rising salmon, the, ny the nymph screams while throwing the sickest kick ever. Whoa! Well, I totally named my techniques too. Eh, uh, uh, headbutt of the rising Dahlia. <laughs> That's also a kick, but who are you to judge? You're... you're not half bad. You're not bad either. The name's Dahlia. Nice nice to fight you, Dahlia. I'm Daphne. Daphne the Nymph. You're about to point out that the original Daphne was a dryad, not a nymph, but that's not necessarily the reason for a nymph. To not be named Daphne, right? You realize this urge of showing off trivia worth bits of knowledge no one cares about speaks volume about your insecurities. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it's a character growth. I'll admit, the rising salmon was kind of cool, but I could beat it with a heartbeat, you know? Ah, sure. And that headbutt of the rising Dahlia, I must admit. I've never seen a headbutt done with your leg. So, you know, we could like totally fight any other day. Not that I care or anything like that. No, no, me neither. But I mean, I'm free on Wednesdays. And fighting you would be better than doing nothing. If you're not like busy fighting anyone else. Nah, I lost my rival recently. It's, it's a funny story. Nothing important. What? Me too, girl. Okay, truth time. I was just testing that rock as my rival. My real rival moved into a new story arc with a new, more powerful rival. Your former rival sounds like a douche. Word. My other prospect was trans transitioning into a reluctant Sintere grumpy ally. But fuck it. I was born for this rival life. I feel you. My former rival moved into a story arc of becoming a useless wimp, but hey, I only rival platonically, okay? I prefer to I prefer to be clear up front. No, me too. Rival two lovers is not my thing. It's all just punches and indirect self growth. Anyways, this is my number if you want your ass to be beaten any day. We'll see who gets their ass beaten. Sure, Dahlia, we'll see. And then she leaves in a way that's so epic that you can actually hear the sounds like a bitchin' anime song. Yeah, Dahlia is back. Thanks, you. Dahlia hugs you. The strength of her hug gives you plus two charm. And the intense J-pop in the background gives you plus one boldness. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm unmuted, right? Sure. Okay. Um... Yo, is she in here? I can't hear her. Yeah, 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 totally. <laughs> I forget it! I was muted, I swear! I had something funny though. I went to go get water, and then my I, my dog was like following me. He wanted to go to my room. But Wait. I was like, bye bye. And then he got really mad. He started barking at me. <laughs> I shut the door on him. Great. Had to share. Isn't that character fire? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you carry on. You spend the day playing in the lake. Everything is fun, until you're mesmerized by a strange song. It's the sirens! They try to lure you with their beautiful chants, but you know better and challenge them to a riff-off. They kick your ass, but you all definitely have a lot of fun. 
More specifically, plus two fun. Ooh. Afterwards, you see Milo on the shore. They seem to be recording the lake. Is this some new kind of ASMR? <clears throat> All right, Dahlia, action. Whoa. Suddenly, you see Dahlia emerge from underwater, flipping her wet hair back in the most perfect hair flip water arc of all time. Dahlia's hair flip really appealed to your overwhelming horniness. You're already in love with her a lot, but you now you're super in love with Dahlia. You hot blue snack. That was amazing. No Hell yeah, it was! Let me see, let me see! I mean, not do that voice, but I'm gonna keep doing it. Dahlia quickly throws her hair back in a ponytail and hurries over. The three of you crowd around Milo's phone and watch the slow motion insta story of Dahlia's sexy wet hair flip. Literally, <laughs> you look so sexy and powerful. And you know what they say powerful is the new sexy. And conveniently, sexy is the new powerful. I fully agree. I'm downright fuckable. Whoa! I'm so hot, I'm making myself horny. For real, you're officially the hottest creature in existence. Used to be Sonic the Hedgehog. You just smashed him into irrelevancy. All right, babe, I'm tagging you. Is that okay? You're gonna get a ton of new followers after such a masterful display of beauty and sex appeal. Yes! Tag me! I want to catch some new followers and make them join my- Wait! I just realized something! I had a realization! Um, yep, I can see that. Care to enlighten me? I'm gonna be alone forever! Um, what? I'm scared that no one will be able to do a hair flip sexy enough to be worthy of my attention. I'm out of everyone's league! Oh, Dahlia, it's okay. Surely someone could do a wet hair flip worthy of you. There just has to be someone out there. Maybe it's someone listening to this very conversation. I don't like the sound of this idea. I'm fire. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so I was thinking. I'm like, you try and then it just goes out in your ball. I'm just fucking dead. <laughs> hey. That's your cue. You have one boldness. <laughs> yeah. That's your cue, you primal animal. You get into the lake, focus all your energy on impressing these two, and execute your sexiest technique. What? I think you would die in both of those situations. Yes. Yes. I think you're right. That uh, sounds like boldness. Probably so. The other one? There go, top one. Emerge from the water while eating some juicy fried chicken. I'm gonna fail it. Watch. Never no, mind. you did it! <laughs> That's my highest stat. <laughs> you dive underwater and reach into your pocket for the fried chicken drumstick you always keep on you. Just in case someone asks you to be sexy at a moment's notice. So se sexy. You emerge from the water, soaking wet and taking huge attraction. <laughs> <laughs> Aggressive bites of that fried chicken. A Drekiv is definitely a word. Totally. Whoa! That was so fucking hot that I feel personally attacked. Stop moving the mouse! <laughs> I thought my thirst trap would never be out sexy, but this chicken is just too hot! Wait, does fried chicken make everything more sexy? Uh, that was gross. That was a fried chicken. Yeah, it was. <laughs> What an enticing question. Fried chicken can be an absolutely gorgeous food. Let's be realistic. Go buttermilk brine or go home. Well, if you're making fried chicken, a buttermilk brine is going to add a lot of steam to it, and that can make the breading fall off. Yeah. Go is the best way to make fried chicken, so... Shit. Kind of <laughs> but at this moment, the taste doesn't even matter. It's about the sexy vibes that's, that the chicken brings out to help. That <laughs> that the chicken brings to the table tableo help. Is that a word? Tableo. Tableo. I don't know. Tableo. Table. I think it's meant to be table, but fancier. Aesthetic bliss. You agree with Milo? Eating wet fried chicken covered in lake water isn't good, but it is hot. 
I can't believe I've been us underestimating the sexiness of fried chicken all this time. It's the ultimate sexiness weapon! The three of you start experimenting to, to determine if fried chicken actually makes everything sexier. Okay, yep, I just tried it, and fried chicken definitely makes funerals sexier. And it covers up the corpse smell way better than daffodils. I can confirm fried chicken makes erotic massage even hotter than it normally is. Oh, and fun life hack, chicken grease can be used as sexual lubricant in an emergency. Oh. Even oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, I, I replayed so hard. Why? I got <laughs> Alright, uh... I have that game! I want him! Colonel Sanders, I need him! I need him in this game! I need to see him! Hey, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe if we get enough comments, we'll get uh, a series no. of her going... Not, okay. not us! I, I'm okay. not touching that with yeah, a 10 foot pole. Go through it. Fuck it. I can't play she it! They removed it. it for the Mac! I can't play Colonel Sanders! Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> hey, hey, I have a plan. What's your plan? I'll tell it to you later. <laughs> <laughs> I have oh a plan. God. Oh my gosh. Dude, yeah. I I love that game so much. Okay, sorry. Soul. I... <sighs> you three even create a fried chicken themed dating sim. The art is good and you've managed to turn a lovable household character into a total dill. Some people criticize it and call it a soulless marketing stunt. But no one cares because oh my god, it's sexy chicken. True. Oh, Talia and Milo are both super happy, and you even inspired a whole new porn subgenre, wet chicken forking. Oh god, I don't want to know what that is. Creativity. Hey, oh, what? Yo, Sin, was yeah, was man. was that why you were like messing with the chicken breast earlier when I was at your house? Ooh. Yes, yes it is. I'm gonna do some uh, wet wet chicken forking later. So because. Because of what happened, my celebrity is Colonel Sanders. No one can tell me otherwise. Okay. Um, everyone chooses a celebrity. Your choice is say your choice out loud before clicking. Vin Diesel. Matt Damon. Colonel Damn. Sanders. One day, the chosen celebrity knocks on your door and asks you to prepare soup for them. <laughs> they do this every day. When asked why they do this, they just start screaming for an hour. They they might sound absurd, but player order decides based on which celebrity would be the least absurd doing it. Debate this one out. I mean, Matt, no, Vin Diesel is already the cringe king. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be absurd if he does that. Because he up. is the cringe king. Let, let me Google what Matt Damon is even in. I don't even know what movies he's he in. He was in um, the Doctor Mars movie. Matt, the Doctor. Good. Matt Mike Smith. Doctor. Doctor Who. Matt Smith. <laughs> oh, Matt Smith. Is his name not Matt? Who are you talking about, Matt Damon? Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> but they were the same. Matt Damon was the guy in uh the one Mars movie. The Martian. Know. Thank you. You know, that movie my uncle really liked. I, that yeah. Guy? <clears throat> That's Matt Damon. Oh, I had no idea. Jane oh, he's Bourne. Jason Bourne! Yeah, Jason Bourne. I didn't Jason watch Bourne. any of these movies. <laughs> I never, yeah, I've never seen any of his movies, so. God, Vin Diesel's uh. such a cringy guy. That's why I picked him, because I was like, dude, he's the cringe king. Huh, who would be the least absurd? Definitely Vin Diesel. Okay. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. No, he makes chicken, not soup. Don't they have soup at KFC? Do they? I, I thought don't... they did. It's KFC, I think they'll have anything. Sure, I don't know. There we go, and I... if you're talking about the Colonel Sanders dating sim, he'll be like, make soup, make soup, make soup, but then he's like too hot, so you're just like, you don't care. You just do it. Okay, but would you count if he's being sexual about it? Would that be absurd? 
It depends. <laughs> if it's the Colonel Sanders would... from the dating sim, then I wouldn't mind at all. But that doesn't change that it's absurd. Some fried chicken. <laughs> it's like that, just I want to eat your soup with some fried chicken. Oh. Colonel Sanders? Oh. How <laughs> would you? Huh. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure though. I, I have no idea what the actual answer would be because I don't know who you're. you're I never watched the movie with, uh, what was your guy? Matt Damon. Yeah, Vin Diesel. Oh, I know. You picked Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. No, he's not. It's not even when he's in movies that he's cringy. It's literally everything he does out of movie that makes him super cringy. Wouldn't that make mm -hmm. him absurd? That would make it. Yeah, but he's already absurd. So him doing something absurd would be, wouldn't be absurd because he he's already extremely. It cancels out. Yeah. So, because he is unreasonable, therefore he yeah. is unreasonable. Yep. What? Yeah. The mouse is dancing. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing is, I, I don't know because I don't know actors. Same. God, that's that's... so weird though. Should we just oh. random it? <laughs> sure. Random! Okay, I guess Matt Damon is the least absurd. Apparently. 